Oh boy. This is gonna be a fun tag for me. Oh my goodness, is this cute or is this cute? Hey guys! I feel like I haven't done a talking video in so long, but today I am bringing you some 90s realness, okay? Let's just take a minute to appreciate this beautifulness right here. But look at this. Look at this beautiful unicorn mug, like, what is this? What is this? Hello, Lisa Frank, is that you? Oh my God, Frankfurt. Today I will be doing the 90s tag. There's one thing I am super proud of is that I am a 90s baby. This tag is probably gonna be like one of my most favorite tags that I've ever done on my YouTube channel so far. I don't really think I've done that many, but for sure this is gonna be like the top three because I am like all about that 90s and 80s lifestyle, man. From like the fashion to the music to just like the toys and everything, the best. Oh, is she ready or what? So let's get right into it. First question. Favorite TV show? I got you. Mmm, bam. Beavis and Butthead, faux show. No regrets. I love Beavis and Butthead so much. I was told that when I was young, I used to watch Beavis and Butthead and like in my crib, I used to imitate them. So I used to make like the noises that they make, like <laughs> and <laughs> Wow. Favorite 90s song? Oh my gosh, let me think. Probably With You by Linkin Park. I do believe that's on their Hybrid Theory CD. That's on their very first album. I'm pretty sure the song with you is on there. Yeah, I gotta check now, because if it's not, I'm gonna be so disappointed in myself. Let me just see, with you, yeah. So it's, oh, but I love paper cut too. God dang it. Can I choose two? Can I choose two? <laughs> it's a tie with paper cut and with you by Lincoln Park, so yeah. All right, next question. Favorite commercial or advertisement? Are they for real? They expect me to remember all this? <laughs> soccer boppers, soccer boppers. I think soccer boppers were like these things that you could like mess around and hit each other with. And I think it's like a boxing glove, but it was like bigger and bulkier, but it was like very squishy. I think that's what it was. In what, wait, In Sync or Backstreet Boys? I like In Sync. Favorite music artist? Um, obviously, duh, Linkin Park. But honestly, I like, um, Blue, da ba dee da ba da and da ba dee da ba da So, E full 65. Did you collect anything back then and what? I actually collected a lot of things that I found outside. So I'm like obsessed with science. And so when I was really, really young, I used to collect things like bird feathers, all different kinds of bird feathers from like blue jays, cardinals, robins. So bird feathers, rocks that looked really unique to me. Wait, rocks, bird feathers. Didn't I collect leaves too? Wait, didn't I collect flowers? Oh, I collected horses, like horse toys. I have a lot of horses. Oh my god, you guys should see like my toy box. It yes, I still have my toy box. It is full of horses and dragons and just yeah. How many Tamagotchis did you go through? One. If you guys don't know what um, Tamagotchis is, it was like this. Okay, it kind of reminds me of Pokemon a little bit, but it was like this little creature and this circly keychain thing. I don't really know how to explain it, but it looks like a little egg. There's little buttons on it, and you had to like take care of it. And um, yeah, so it, all I remember is that it was on a keychain, and they had different colors. See, so yeah, I have one. I'm like low key creeping up on the camera here. Favorite video game and console. This is so like I can't answer this right away. My favorite video game is Spiral. My favorite console is PlayStation. That will probably never change, but because I feel like. For um, a lot of these tag videos, it's always like the same answers, like Linkin Park or Spyro or this, that. I'm going to say that my favorite games in the 90s were Spyro, Tomb Raider, um, Twisted Metal 2, Nightmare Creatures, Medieval, Rayman, and yeah, things like that. 
Favorite cereal or cereal cereal free toy? My favorite cereal growing up, I think, was Kix. That's K I X. And they just tasted so amazing. I'm blue, See, now I have that song in my head. It's a good song. What was your 90s crush growing up? That bad boy right there. Right there. He's my main squeeze. What was your favorite Disney Channel movie? Oh, I've seen so many. Oh my God, I've seen so many growing up. You know what I watched a lot of? I watched Dumbo a lot because I was so freaked out by that like dark elephant part. There was like a part where like all these elephants changed colors and they were like singing songs and shit. Yeah, that, that stuff was scary to me. I don't know why I kept watching it. But, yeah. but like if I had to choose today, it's definitely Tarzan. I mean, you see that wild boy. I want that. Favorite show, Disney, Nick, or Cartoon Network? Oh, okay, screw Disney. Um, Nickelodeon, Spush, no, Cartoon Network. It was for sure Cartoon Network. I loved Cartoon Network. Oh my God, there's so many like messed up shows on there. I just enjoyed it so much. Well, see, like I watched things like Rugrats, Cow and Chicken. I watched Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny. So like Looney Tunes and all that. Um, that's Boomerang, isn't it? Weirdest fashion trend. Um, I didn't really have fashion in, oh, wait a minute. In the 90s, in the 90s. Oh my God, I was so young, what was I wearing? Nothing. <laughs> Probably naked all the time. <laughs> Who would want to wear clothes? Like, that's so not cool. Be a cool kid and just take it off. <laughs> okay, where were we? I would have to say that I used to wear scarves, like, I'll, I'll show you how I used to wear them, because I have them all hanging up right there. I'll show you. I used to get a lot of these at Hot Topic. Just a lot of these type of like skater scarves. They're probably not even for skaters, but I call them skater scarves. And then I would fold it like this, like a big triangle. And then I would roll it like this. Flip it around. And I would put it like this and tie it like that. <laughs> like this. I actually still like wearing these like this though, so I mean, does that mean I'm still weird? Cause like, look at this, I think this is cute. I think it's, it's like adorable. Look at that. I think it's still cute. Whatever. Slay. Next question! What were your favorite toys would you play with? Let me tell you something, Play-Doh is the way to go. I loved Play-Doh so much. I had so many different colors, like in the little Play-Doh cylinder things. Just take them out. Okay, I cannot be the only one who seriously wanted to do this. There's no way. But has anybody ever wanted to like eat Play-Doh or like taste it? Well, I did. <laughs> I, I couldn't help it anymore. Play-Doh smells so freaking good. Like, I don't know what's in it, but it smells amazing. And I remember I was so curious and I was just like, I wanted to taste it so bad. So I took a lick of it and it is salty as, I was like, oh God, never again. Oh my God, does anybody, I, I remember these two. Does anybody remember blow pens? I think it was spelled without the W. So it's just B-L-O and then pens, I think. But like, I used to love these blow pens and it was just a regular pen. And like on the end of it, like where an eraser would be on like a pencil, you would have to blow in there and then the colors would come out. I thought these things were so cool and you could get so creative with them because like they would have stencils for blow pens and then they would give like this natural ombre effect like ombre transition, or you could do all these different colors and mix colors naturally, naturally and it looks so good. But I don't know what it was. I don't even know if maybe this was like, maybe they stopped making it for this reason or maybe it's even made today. I, I have no idea. But um, I remember every time I would use blow pens, I would get so lightheaded because you're constantly like, I don't even know if these are safe for kids. I don't even know if they really were, but but I would blow in the blow pens and I would get so 
lightheaded and like I couldn't really take it for too long. I just couldn't do it. Uh, there's no way those are safe for kids. There's no way. Disney, Nickelodeon, or Cartoon Network? They already asked this. Oh, they're actually saying like brand now. Well, I already said that, Cartoon Network. What early morning or weekend TV shows would you watch? Oh my God, Arthur all the time. Arthur every day when you're walking down the street. MTV. Yep. Those were good mornings, let me just say. I woke up feeling like ready to conquer the world. Okay, favorite McDonald's Happy Meal toy. <gasps> the Spirit toy. It's from the movie Spirit. It's with all the horses and I used to collect those. I love them. You know what's crazy? I still have them in my toy box. If you want to know something, we used to have a shit ton of Beanie Babies. Oh my God. We used to have bins full of just Beanie Babies. I still have some of them. So these are the Beanie Babies I liked the most. It's a little snail and his name is Swirly. Oh, look at you looking all cool. And then this one is Neon, but what is his actual name? Wait, wasn't it Neon? I don't know, but I named this one Neon. And I have a bigger version of this seahorse. And then I also have a jellyfish. I like these the most though, because they were special. They like, they have my favorite color on them, which is opal. So they have like, I don't know. They were just very unique, like pastel and opal like, so. I like them. Favorite book. Oh, I know this one. There is a tiny book that's about like this big and it had a whole bunch of different types of unicorns in it and yeah once again lisa frank like hello a lot of these unicorns would remind me of the lisa frank type of unicorns they were so rainbow like and it looked really pretty i also remember one of my favorite books was it was like with a puppy oh god what's the title it's like the puppy or the puppy paws or something like that i don't even know but it had a gold binding and it was like this big of a book and it was about all these little puppies that were like observing the outside world and they would find little bugs and they would like smell it to see like oh what's this and they would find little strawberries in the patch and then they dig underneath the fence it's so cute i love that book what would you watch when you got home from school i'm gonna take this off now and get kind of warm Getting kind of hot, spicy. Okay, I'm just gonna say Zoom Zoom, or like, wasn't there? <sighs> so hard to remember all of these. It was like Zoom or Zuzu. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just remember like there there were a bunch of these kids, and they were in this dark area that they would always hang out at. There's a lot of different shapes in the background. I could have sworn it started with a Z, like, Zoom, I was about to say Zumba, oh my god. What was your favorite thing from the 90s that's no longer available today? Oh, that's actually the last, wait, that's the last question? That is the last question, I wanted to keep going, I love this tag, this is so much fun, it's bringing me back. Let's think hard about this one. No, you know what, definitely the music style, for sure the music style. Um, I want more music that's like ATC and E465. I want music like that to come out again. Yeah, that that is the shit. Seriously, that's like the best kind of music there is. At least I think so. Yeah, we need some more good music. Seriously, we need some music we could just like zone out to and get lost in. Alright guys, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!